Hello there, it's Karen Not here from Primetime Possibilities and thank you for joining me on this Coaching Corner episode where I'd like to talk to you about change and transitions, two of the key elements involved in my work as a retirement coach and specifically I'd like to talk you through the distinction between the two and explain how knowing this could improve your experience of retirement which has to be a good thing, right? So what is the difference between transitions and change? Well, as it turns out, a great deal, even though the terms are often used interchangeably. So change is an external event, a moment in time. You know, you retire, you move into a new home, you leave a job. Whereas transition is the internal process that we go through to adjust to those changes. A process that affects us on an emotional and psychological level. And unlike change, which can happen pretty quickly, a transition is a slower process of adjusting, adapting, reorientating and coming to terms with the change we face. Now, retirement is one of the most significant transitions we'll face as we get older. And while some find it easier than others, no one makes a transition completely unscathed. So I want to introduce you to the simple transition map that I use in my coaching, created by a brilliant pioneer in this field, a man called William Bridges, who breaks the transition process into the following three stages to help guide you through the change. So stage one is ending. All transitions start here with what's ending. Some people resist this stage because it can be challenging and painful. However, it is really important to identify what is being lost to grieve those losses and let them go. You know, too often we confuse endings with finality when they are actually the initiation of a new phase of life. Now, the second stage of transition is called the neutral zone. This is an in-between time when we feel disconnected from the past, but not yet emotionally connected to the present. So it can feel a bit like a limbo and you may well feel impatient, confused or frustrated at this time. But it's here that the critical psychological realignments start to take place as we explore new options and gradually work out how we can make the most of the change we find ourselves in. And finally, stage three is where we come out of the transition and we emerge with renewed clarity, understanding and purpose, ready to make a new beginning. And our energy and motivation starts flowing in a new direction. So there you have it. Endings, the neutral zone and new beginnings. A process that's simple, relevant and applicable to all life's changes. Now, no matter whether you're struggling with retirement or you're just starting to think about retiring, I'd urge you to start with what's ending. Many try to skip this phase, but it's an essential sort of clearing process. Until you've dealt with what's ending, you won't be able to move forward into the next chapter of your life. So start by making a list of all the things that you'll be letting go of in retirement, all the things that are ending. You know, this could include your job, your daily routine, your work-related identity, your social network, your sense of status, or anything else that will end as a result of you retiring. Then choose one thing to start with the one thing that you're finding particularly challenging to let go of, and start digging deeper by asking yourself these questions. Why is it so challenging for you to let go of these things? 
What's the emotion this brings up? You know, what's the internal reaction? What do you fear will happen if you let this go? Then think about the ways that this very thing that no this very thing that you're finding so difficult to give up no longer serves you. Perhaps it drains your energy or the stress and pressure affects your health. And finally think, what are the benefits of letting this go? You know, what will you gain? More time, perhaps, more autonomy, more opportunities. Remember, transitions may follow a simple three-step process, but that doesn't necessarily make them easy. So be patient with yourself and ideally try and find yourself some emotional support, somewhere that offers you a safe, productive space to express your feelings. Maybe talking to a trusted friend, seeking professional help or journaling about your feelings. The thing to remember is that transitions all serve a crucial purpose. They tell us it's time to move on, to leave the old behind in order to prepare for something new. So that's it for this coaching corner. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to connecting with you again on the next one. Bye bye for now.